Hi, my name is Elise, and today's video I'm going to be bringing you along with me on my first snowboarding trip of 2023. This is my first time snowboarding in a couple seasons. Since last year, I wasn't able to make it out because of bad weather and high lift ticket prices. And I'm also going to be attempting to teach my friend Elaine how to snowboard for their very first time. We decided to stay overnight, so first things first, we had to check in and bring all our stuff up to the room. We made it into the room! We made it to the room. We made it to the room. Let's go! And then it was time to head out to the slopes. Oh, I have extra goggles too. Of course, you have to do the classic prep work in the parking lot. You gotta get your snowsuit on, and your boots, and all the layers, your jacket, your gloves, maybe some goggles, and music. Music is the most important part as you're getting slope ready in the lot. <laughs> you gotta make sure you get the hype music in to put you in the right vibe. Then you gotta make sure your boots are all tightened up. Elaine had to rent equipment, so I waited patiently before we hit the bunny hill. <laughs> the bunny hill is where you go to learn. That's where everybody starts out. So since I hadn't been in a season and since it was Elaine's first time learning, that's where we started. picked it up really fast so we were able to make our way to our first proper lift after only a few sessions on the bunny hill and it felt so good to get in some proper shred time shredding for a couple hours before we took our first break. Oh my gosh, freedom! I know, oh yeah. I forgot I could take these off. We wanted to eat some food, but there were no dishes in the room, so I went on a mission to secure the plates. I honestly love walking around hotels, and this is my first time staying at a ski resort as an adult, so I felt bad and bougie. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> 
It was kind of difficult to find the hot tub at first, even after I asked multiple people. But once we found it, we were vibing. This is actually where I learned to snowboard for the very first time. And all this time, I never knew that there was a hot tub that had a view of the slopes. We got lucky and were able to chill here, just the two of us, and watch all the snowboarders hit the terrain park. I think this is exactly the time where I realized that I want to take a trip like this annually. changed into some comfy clothes before we head to the bonfire and make s'mores and look at the telescope but first hydration yes we got all ready to head to the bonfires and at this point there was nobody around except workers so we felt like we had the whole place to ourselves I just forged these sticks to make s'mores. I started roasting my first marshmallow as I waited for Elaine to come back with their telescope. This was definitely a highlight of the trip. And they even had the music still playing outside, so we were dancing and making s'mores and looking at the telescope for a while until it was time for bed. Good morning. Just got up. I just fixed my bed so that it looks all perfect again. First things first, gotta hydrate. I just got my Duolingo in though. So I feel very on top of it in that aspect. And last night I was so tired, but I still managed to floss. Now we're about to do a little yoga, get a little self-care in before breakfast and stream. Elaine joined me in my morning meditation and we actually used the most recent guided meditation I have posted on this channel, which I will leave in the description for those that are interested. I like to start every day with a meditation even if I'm traveling, maybe even especially if I'm traveling. And it was so nice to have a friend join me in the process. I think it was definitely a great way to start a day of shredding.
time to journal. <laughs> I also especially love journaling when I'm traveling because that way maybe I can remember more of my travels, especially things that I wasn't able to document when I look back on these memories in the future. And that is how I feel about every day, but especially traveling. I think it is a great way to just document your experience and also be able to see what you're thinking about during that trip because sometimes what happened during the trip is different than how you felt on the trip. And I was happy that this journal entry was super positive because I've been having such a great time on the trip so far. Let me know in the comments if you are also a fan of journaling or if you have a specific journal for traveling. Time to shower and get ready for the day. This is the shower. Shower time. Just got out of the shower. Honestly, should have done that last night. Oh, oh, oh. oh really? Yeah. Dang. Light gray. The light gray full test. But it's 39. Feels like 36. It's gonna rain. Elaine is going to get coffee. I'm going to find a spot to start the stream. It is almost 11 a.m. We just finished our stream and they locked us out. We got a late checkout, but it's 12. 1 p.m. Yeah. is our checkout. So we're going to the front lobby. Ask him. Let's get it. Let we us in. This. We got this. Let us in. Please, I gotta pee. <laughs> okay, the card automatically shut off and 11 so we have to get a new car we have like 45 minutes to check out i'm eating a brownie <laughs> i should be packing but this brownie is so good <laughs> so we packed up all our stuff and got ready to leave the room and hit the slopes again and now i bring you the classic get ready with me in the parking lot <laughs> gotta make sure the braids stay fresh We grabbed our equipment from the room that we left it in the night prior and we're all ready to hit the slopes. Bad boy. There was this dude that just came up to us and was like, I'm not a ski instructor, but I saw you on the last one and let me give you a few tips. <laughs> Just realized that my strap is broken. This is what it should look like. This is what it looks like. <laughs> I was just snapping it in and it completely came off, so that's a wrap for that. I love how this happened at the literal top of the mountain. I 
talking to some other snowboarders at the top, you know, right as you get off the lift, and they're like, ooh, you got a broken binding, that's not good. And they advised me to just go see if we could get some spare parts, so we're gonna go snowboard on down to the rental shop, see what we can do, see if we can fix it up. We just got it fixed by a really cute guy. I forgot my wallet, so we have to go back and get it. We're on our way. Just like that, our snowboarding trip was coming to an end. But not before I got to utilize my first aid kit that I bring on all my travels because the bar and the lift had scratched Elaine's hand. It pays off to stay prepared, y'all. <laughs> Little blueberry muffin for the ride. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video and until next time, peace out. Okay, there's snow. There's a little something. There's got, people. Ah! We got a little snow. They're on it. They're they're shredding the gnar. They're shredding the gnar. Oh, but I hear a wild on the lane. <laughs> go lane, go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do that little dance again. Mm. <laughs> Yucky. <laughs> Thank you.